We're working on the Bristol engine again. Um, the gentleman who owns this engine has found some more parts for us. He's sourced um, some new big end bearings, the correct size, and some new main end bearings. These are all glacier. We're um, pretty happy to put these bearings in because uh, what we think is a pretty tough bearing, a better quality. Um, we've ground the crank to suit the um, to suit the bearings. That's sometimes what you have to do when you're short on parts. We're doing what we call like a dry assembly. Um, it's not exactly dry because we do put some oil in it so it doesn't score the crank journals. But um, We've fitted this conrod to the crankshaft, and we're just checking it's got a little bit of, little bit of just a little bit of resistance. There it goes. Also, um, we've got the end float or the end play, which is that bit there. You don't want that too loose or too tight. We've got our gauge set up with the tolerances, and it's just gripping just nicely. Yep. So everything's looking good on that side. The bearings that he supplied us, there is a problem with them. Um, don't have these holes in them. They're uh, all blank, but they are the right size, right type of bearing. And what we're going to have to do is, we're actually going to have to machine this hole into the bearings. The reason for that is, I'll show you one of the, one of the con rods. They have this hole going, so second this hole here, and it's going all the way to the con rod, and it pops out of that end and it feeds the, um, the small end, the piston pin. And if we put these in, it's just going to run the engine dry, and that would be a failure. So, a um, little bit more work on the Bristol engine, and I think we will get this together. Very patient. Speak to you soon.